Recording in progress. I've taken over Amy Martin's account again. <laughs> does that does that person ever work? Like she's always off, always stealing her stuff. I just got back from Atlanta this weekend. We we went up to Atlanta. I live in Charlotte, North Carolina. Uh, it's about a four hour drive to Atlanta. And uh, my bonus son, my younger son, Preston, who just turned eight. So we gave him a little trip to Atlanta. He'd never been there before. I took Max and and uh, obviously the, the wife as well. And we took a little road trip to Atlanta. Went to Lego something Discovery Center in Atlanta. It's just in this uh, super bougie mall <laughs> with like Versace and uh, Gucci and stuff. But then right next to... I think YSL was Legoland. It was pretty crazy. Um, had a good time. And then uh, ended up just staying in Buckhead there, the area of Atlanta. And then we went to um, the aquarium the next day. Spent the night and, and then hooked up to the aquarium and saw... Actually, it's a pretty amazing aquarium. And then drove home. So anyway, just kind of catching up from a, from a long weekend. And uh, wanted to show a couple of things uh, in Zoom. Shocking, I know, right? Is that... Um, one of the things that we uh, all know how to do is meetings, right? We have this big meetings tab over here, and uh, most of the time we we're back to or, or back to back meetings. We're scheduling meetings. We're we're going to meetings. We see what meetings are scheduled. We see what meetings are recorded, and all this stuff. But there's other stuff in here. <laughs> one of the most important things that I don't even know if you're aware of is not only is Zoom phone pretty badass. It's amazing and that it could be obviously your your phone, um, outgoing, incoming, voicemail, transfer, hot desking, working. I mean, all the stuff that your, your regular phone system would do built into the client, soft client right here. I don't need a separate handset or a headset. I could certainly use one, but I don't need one. I have a soft phone right here built into my Zoom client. Some of the other cool stuff right, is that, is that I have the ability to set up every single user in my organization to have multiple caller IDs. What? Are, are you kidding me? I could have my own personal caller ID. I could have an extension caller ID. I could have shared line caller ID. This is Amy's account, right? I just ate, but Amy shares a line with Craig. She can actually pretend to be Craig or uh, make phone calls on, on behalf of Craig and, and maybe maybe uh, Craig's uh, Amy's admin and, and they need to make and transition and transfer calls on behalf of each other. We can set up the caller ID or we can even hide it all together. Where this even comes into more power and prominence is, is now as we start going to the right on all these tabs, history is easy, right? Call duration, outbound, inbound. Voicemail is pretty simplified. I don't really have any voicemail in my test, but you can play voicemails right here. I'll do that in another demo. All the We just talked about this. All the shared lines that I have with individuals, I have listed right here in my lines. I can see Amy's in a meeting, but I have shared lines with Craig, who is offline. Watch this next one. Boom. SMS. We used to call people. And, uh, and if they didn't answer, we'd leave a long voicemail, right? And uh, or, or we write an email. We don't do that much anymore. Why? Two basic reasons. Zoom chat, probably be most important, is that I can just IM the person and they can get back to me whenever they want. I don't need to leave a voicemail if I want to. But more importantly, in, in the world we live in today, instant messaging is, is, is and persistent chat are something we would do from a desktop or even a mobile level, but who uses their iPhone anymore for actual calling, right? It's a rare, it's a rare function that your iPhone is used for calling. It's mainly used for being your extension of your desktop or laptop and also to text. Simple SMS texting right from your, your phone is probably the most prevalent way we communicate today. And it doesn't matter the demographic, right? Texting is, is just how it's done. It's simpler. It's easier. It's more efficient. You can get to it when you uh, have time. Uh, you know, sometimes you don't want to take a phone call. You're in traffic. You're in another meeting. You just want to, but you can still communicate via text. What if we could bring that functionality that's been typically on the mobile device into the Zoom client? That's right. You can literally text right from your Zoom client 
to cell phones, to other Zoom uh, phones. This ability extends the communication platform into the Zoom world even further. Because Zoom already has meetings. Everybody knows it has meetings. Webinars, large meetings, breakout moon rooms, breakout meetings, Zoom rooms, digital signage, Zoom phone, now Zoom texting. How crazy is that? Zoom texting works right now. You have the ability to text anyone with your Zoom phone. I can obviously uh, just type in a, a number. It's how texting works, right? Uh, this is my test phone down here. I can actually type in my the number I want to text, and then I can send emojis. I could send hellos. Look at that. Texting right to an iPhone or an Android phone. Does it really matter? Well, hi there. Handsome. Hi. Well, hi, handsome. Well, hello. Back at you. All right. Zoom texting. Did you even know that was a thing? All right. Enjoy your, I think it's Tuesday. I think it's Tuesday.